morning! It's Miss Barb and I'm here to talk about week four Lenten devotionals for families and today we're gonna talk about making a matchstick cross and because these matchsticks were lit it just makes for a really pretty cross with some dimension. Now this is a cross that's easier to make if for younger kids and the one I give you the template for is pretty easy for older kids. Um, you can make a, a larger one or I'll, um, you can also print it in um, landscape and make a smaller one. So um, for the smaller one, you're just drawing a cross. And parents, you do want to um, put a matchstick in the middle and then break a matchstick and glue it down here. So you just have a, a tiny, tiny, tiny cross in the middle. And then your kids can build out and put, you know, five or seven um, matchsticks on each side as they go. And this is um, the information for this and for the other template is also in the information below in the description. So for the larger one, you can print it this way, um, vertically or horizontally. I did the smaller one just because it was a little bit easier for me and it required less matchsticks, honestly, because it's a pretty tedious project, even though it's really pretty at the end. <laughs> um, so um, for this one, you want to do an X in the middle. You want to glue down the four, and then you can just work out from that. But you need this orientation point in order to do that. Um, now, something you can do too is um, I printed this on regular paper, glued it to cardstock, used some of the Ash Wednesday leftovers <laughs> to make it a little thicker. You could use a really pretty piece of paper and trace this on here so you can give it as a gift. You could use a green color for St. Patrick's Day, or you could use purple for lint. It would be a really beautiful present for somebody. When you're done making it, or you're taking a break and it's drying, the glue is drying, you do want to put some wax paper over it and stick a book on top of it. Um, it will flatten more. It will um, uh, it will dry in such a way that you won't have pieces falling off later on. Okay, so to the fire. <laughs> so we're working with matches right so um, we got to create some fire to get this really pretty um, color here right so what you can do is with the 32 count matchsticks um, you can actually just burn them in here it's a lot less messy for parents if the parents burn them in here and kids should not be burning the matches at all at all at all so i'm going to show you how to do this one um, before i do that um, i'm going to show you another way that they talk about um, I'll just say that for any work with fire, um, it's better done on a concrete surface outside. I think that's just safer. You can work on um, a piece of tin foil. You can actually, that could be your surface. Um, keep water nearby. And um, I even keep a pot nearby if I just want to throw something in there and just get it off of even the concrete surface. I'm just burn in the metal piece, right? Okay, so the, 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 kind of fun big fire you can make, which is like a one shot thing. It's really fast and then it's gone. Um, has to be done on a concrete surface and that would be using the 300 matches in the match box. Now I didn't put all of them in here the way you're supposed to. I'm just gonna show you though. So you're supposed to put them end to end so that when you light them, you light, you know, you put, just stick a match in here and it lights the rest. Um, you do want to do that on a flat surface. You do not want to be touching it while you light that ever, right? Um, what, what's going to happen is they're all going to light up at the same time. You're going to have a really big fire. So you, you want everybody to be distanced from you when you do this. And then um, you may not even have time to close the box. It may actually just go out on its own. But you want to put it down on a surface, light it, and just let it go. Okay? And then again, like if you needed to, you could just you know, wet them, they'll dry out pretty quickly and then you can still do your project. Okay, so that's, that's kind of a, a parent big project. Um, you know, um, the, the better one to do, that's fun and really safe comparatively, is to just do the little matchsticks. So you're just gonna light it and then light up one of these here. So I'm gonna do that so you can see it. Typically you do it on a surface um, so that um, to basically do it like that. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to light it and then I'm just going to drop it. I like doing it this way. Oh, didn't work. Number two. Here, I'm going to do it down here. And you'll 
still see it go up. There you go. Okay. So you can let it just burn out. And in fact, it's almost burned out already here. What you can do is you can just mom and dad, grandparents, you can just do that. See, the whole thing's gone and you know, it's extinguished like that. So those are really easy to do. Again, on foil with water and something metal nearby, very close, you can just drop it in if you need to. Um, but it's really fun to do all these little ones, these little matchboxes. You get a lot of little flames. Everybody has some fun with it. And then you get to make some really gorgeous projects. Something like this. So I hope you enjoyed that. Check the description below for more information for the two different projects. And um, I hope you enjoy this week of Lent. Bye-bye.